ಹಲೋ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ನಮಸ್ತೆ ಸೊ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ವಿತ್ ಅನ್ ಒನ್ಸ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ವಿತ್ ಅನದರ್ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಸೊ ದ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಇಸ್ ಬಿನ್ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಬಿನ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ಎಮ್ ಎಸ್ ಪಿಯರ್ ಆಫ್ ಡಯಾಮೀಟರ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟಿ ಎಮ್ ಎಮ್ ಈ ಸೆಂಟ್ರಲಿ ರೆಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಆನ್ ಟಾಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ಕ್ವಾರ್ ಪ್ರಿಸಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಬೇಸ್ ಸೈಡ್ ಇಸ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟಿ ಎಮ್ ಎಮ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹೈಟ್ ತರ್ಟಿ ಎಮ್ ಎಮ್ ಸಚ್ ದಟ್ ದ ಕರ್ವಡ್ ಸರ್ಫೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಎಮ್ ಎಸ್ ಪಿಯರ್ ಈಸ್ ಟಚಿಂಗ್ ದ ಟಾಪ್ ಫೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಪ್ರಿಸಮ್ ಡ್ರಾ ಇಸ್ ಐಸೋಮ್ಯಾಟ್ರಿಕ್ ಪ್ರೊಜೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಸೊ ಈ ವಾಟ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಅ ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ಪ್ರಿಸಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಬೇಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಮ್ ಮಚ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟಿ ಎಮ್ ಎಮ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಹೈಟ್ ಇಸ್ ತರ್ಟಿ ಎಮ್ ಎಮ್ ಲೆಟ್ ಎಸ್ ಅಸ್ಯೂಮ್ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ಪ್ರಿಸಮ್ ಆನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ಪ್ರಿಸಮ್ ದ ಹೆಮಿಸ್ಪಿಯರ್ ಇಸ್ ಬಿನ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಎಮಿಸ್ಪಿಯರ್ ರೈಟ್ ಸೊ ದ ಎಮಿಸ್ಪಿಯರ್ ಇಸ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಆನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ಪ್ರಿಸಮ್ ಸೊ ಹೌ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಬಿನ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಬಿನ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಓವರ್ ಇಯರ್ such that the curved surface of hemisphere is touching the top face of the prism see what they are telling this see this is a curved surface right so this curved surface is on the top of the square prism like this have you got this one see the hemisphere can be placed like this also but in the problem they are telling that the curved surface is being placed on the top of a square prism so we have to draw the isometric projection of this combination of solid shall we do it so first of what we have to do we have to draw the corresponding front view on top view of this object it is been shown over here and i already drawn the isometric projection of a square prism it is been shown here so next we have we have to locate the center of the object from the center so this is the center of which one that is the center of square prism so now i need to locate the center of hemisphere so how much what is the, what is the distance it is it is at a distance of 25 mm so for that so from here i need to measure iso 25 so from here to your 1 and 2 uh, i can't able to locate it properly so that's why with the help of compass and this iso scale i am going to take the measurement of 25 mm iso 25 mm don't forget so this is not actual 25 mm friends it is iso 25 from this center of the square prism i am going to cut an arc above so that measures iso 25 this is the center of what hemisphere so from the center of this i am going to draw a line parallel lines to this 30 degree lines isometric page like this two lines i am going to draw okay see i have drawn a line so why i have drawn a line so this is a center of hemisphere so now i need to construct a another box which is a reference box to draw this circle so i give the naming as what 5 6 7 8 if i drop it downwards so from year to year it measures how much 25 so therefore with the help of compass we have to measure how much iso 25 okay so take a measurement of iso 25 from this center i am going to cut the iso 25 on this reference lines that is been drawn in the previous step okay after that with the help of scale once again i am going to draw a parallel lines like this and from here i am going to draw parallel lines like this in the same way i am going to draw the parallel line from here and at last i am going to draw the parallel line from sorry okay see i got the box right i am going to name this box as what so this one is 
five and this one is six seven and eight can you able to see my friends so just i will mark it see this is one this is the one this one this one and this one you can easily identify so what is afterwards so next we have to draw the circle by which method four center method which is already been discussed see from seven i am going to draw a lines to the opposite mid points like this and from here also i am going to draw the like this so this is by four center method with the help of compass with five as center i am going to draw the arc here in the same way with seven as center i am going to draw the arc and with this center and i am going to draw the another r and also from here i am going to draw the another r like this so i constructed the circle not the hemisphere right so now with the now i am going to draw what so i am going to take to the tangent the outermost here i am going to draw the hemisphere like this okay so this is how we have to draw the hemisphere so now what is the next step the next step is to draw the visible edges right so from to draw the visible edges we should go from top to bottom so which face is visible so this top face is visible right this circle is visible and this hemisphere is visible correct now see from this portion to this is visible in the same way from this portion to this portion is visible and this is visible the top face of the square prism so this is visible corresponding vertical edges three vertical edges are visible and these two bottom edges are visible i got this my friend so this is the corresponding front view on top view and this is the isometric projection of the combination of given solid i hope you understood thank you namaste